going to do a reading vlog for The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I'll like it. Um, I am only reading this because it's on the Rory Gilmore reading list. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do this vlog for the whole time it takes me to finish this book if I'm just going to do it for like this evening or something, it will be in the title. Um, yeah, I'm excited to start reading it and I'm borrowing my brother's copy, so I'll update you later. I'm also trying to do shorter updates and talk for less, so hopefully this won't be a half hour long video. Hello, it's around midnight now. Um, so I'm just going to do a really quick update before I go to bed. Um, I've been reading uh, The Da Vinci as Foxes Outside. Um, I'm actually really enjoying this. I didn't think I would. I read to chapter 22, which is page 144. So I'm not much of the way through. It's surprisingly good. Like, I'm pretty invested in it. So yeah, I'm probably going to read like one more chapter and then go to sleep because I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. But I'm very excited. I'm also proud of myself because I've been reading with my glasses on, which I've been meaning to do more because otherwise I get a headache from reading without my glasses on. But yeah. Okay, night night, bye. Oh, also I changed my bedding, so now I have a nice new fresh bedding. Hello, it's now the next day, it's actually like 12 past 2 in the afternoon. Um, I slept in till like, I think about 12? I don't know, but I'm really glad about that. Do I kind of regret it? Yes. Am I also very glad about it? Yes. Anyway, back to the book update. Also, I'm going to show you my dress in a minute because I actually really love it, although it is see-through. That's a separate conversation, though. Anyway. That's exactly where I've got toothache. That actually really hurt. Um, finally, back to the book. Um, I've been reading Da Vinci Code. Um... I'm up to chapter 35, which is page 206. I think when I last updated you, I was on like chapter 22. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if I ended up reading before I went to bed last night, but I read a bit this morning. Um, I'm still quite enjoying it. Like, I am going to keep reading it, definitely. But it's also... strange i don't know also the weather is so weird so we're in a heat wave yeah we're in a heat wave i keep saying heat stroke but heat strokes like when you get ill from you know what i mean um anyway we're in a heat wave um and i'm really bad in the heat and it's literally like 32 degrees um and i'm literally under my duvet I'm genuinely chill at the moment, like, but when I go out into the hall, like, you know, put a blanket on or something, heat stroke straight away, that's a joke by the way, um, but yeah, I am actually quite proud of myself, because for once in my life I'm actually drinking lots of water, and coke admittedly, but it's still hydration. And with the ice and everything and just staying cool um also i didn't film any of this morning because i didn't feel well when i woke up um i'm still like in a flare-up from like the last week but yeah um i did my makeup i just did mascara highlighter eyebrows and sun cream and lip balm um but yeah i'm gonna show you my outfit because it's so cute um, although it is kind of annoying because I put it on, I've never worn this before. I got it from a charity shop and then it was literally sitting in my wardrobe for ages, but it's okay. Um, anyway, um, yeah, this is see-through, which is kind of annoying, but I've got shorts on, so that's okay. 
but also you can see my tattoo on my hip if I don't have the shorts on. So I can't wear this without shorts on around the house. Anyway, I'm going to show you my outfit, then I'm going to read for a bit more. Hello, it is 2am on Friday the 15th. Um, I haven't actually filmed for, I think, a day or two? I'm not really sure. Um, basically I started filming this, feeling meh, and then went into a flare-up. Um, so I haven't been able to sleep. And then when I've been awake, I've been too tired and just not processing enough to be able to read. Um, but I have gotten some progress. Um, I've got to page, chapter 45, which is page 257. My thing with this is that it's like somehow simultaneously fast paced, but also slow. Like the actual plot points are quite fast, which I love, but the writing just makes it so slow, which I hate. But I also do love how short the chapters are. Um, but yeah, I'm either going to finish the vlog here. Okay, so the options are finish the vlog here, pick a new book and then start reading a new book. That's like a YA and hopefully easier to read and less intense. Or just keep filming this and try and get that to work. Because the issue I have with this is I don't want to like force myself to read it now and just skim read the whole thing and then ruin it for myself. But I've also been really bad at filming updates because I don't want it to be like all me talking. Which it also is, so... Um... Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Hello. It's now 4.38am. I still haven't slept. Um, I nearly cried this morning. Guess what I nearly cried about? Apple juice. Yep. Um, I'm starting a new medication and I can't drink apple juice, orange juice or something else whilst I'm taking that medication. You want to hear the dumbest part though? I don't drink that much fruit juice anyway because I have gastroparesis. But I'm still like, no, that's actually going to change my whole life. Um, anyway, back to book stuff. Um, I've got a pile of books here from the library. Um, and I'm going to start on those instead of continuing with the Dan Brown book for now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to read the blurbs and maybe the first page and see which one I want to read. Hello, I've decided I'm going to start reading Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. Um, I'm not going to lie, a lot of the reason why I picked that over the other two books that I had on my want to read right now poll was because of this. And then, like the map, Mr. Henry's Cat, are you joking? Obviously I have to read that. Also feels really comfortable, so that's exciting. Um, but the other two books that I wanted to read right now, and it was trying to pick between, were Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. I'm really excited to read this, but I also feel like maybe, like it says on the back that it's a tearjerker and stuff. I feel like maybe now isn't a good time to read it, like when I'm not feeling well. Um, and then the other one is The Wren Hunt. 
which I feel like will be kind of a similar vibe to the Hunger Games. Like, not really, but... Yeah. The, per the first page sounds really good, is it? No. Okay, I'm gonna read Starry Eyes by Jim Bennett. Hello, it is now actually a Sunday morning, it's 1.40am and I'm just about to edit this. Um, sorry this vlog has been so bad, uh, I've been really unwell and then I just kind of forgot that I was filming. Um, but I've been reading more Starry Eyes by Jim Bennett and I'm really enjoying it, it's just more of a chill read. I got up to chapter 22, which is page 318. Um, also, I got a new fan. or well, I got a fan. I didn't have one, so I was going through the whole heat wave with no fan. It's okay, because I have one now, though. Um, I haven't read more of the Da Vinci Code, but I haven't DNF'd it, like, at all. I'm, like, looking forward to get back to reading it. I'm just not feeling well enough, and I don't want to read it when I'm, like not feeling well and then ruin my experience of reading it especially for the first time you know anyways thank you for watching um my future videos will be better manifesting um but yeah thank you bye